Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin currently around 46.1k hasn't really moved a lot since the last video and there's a bit of indecision today in the market. We can see Cardano going up actually and uh, talked about that in the Cardano video. Um, Dogecoin doing quite well at the moment with 10% upside but generally um, we can see here a little bit of a decline in the crypto market today because Bitcoin is a little bit weak. Yeah, we can see Bitcoin being a little bit weak. Why is Bitcoin a little bit weak? Well, we talked about this triangle here that Bitcoin was forming. So Bitcoin was really getting squeezed here into um, a triangle. And yeah, it looked a bit like as if Bitcoin was um, did break up. Yes, a big break to the outside, uh, upside yesterday after my, my last video yesterday. And then this morning in my video, I told you that, well, it seems to have been just a fake out here to the upside, but there was quite a strong move actually all the way to 47 and a half K. Um, However, you can see that after that Bitcoin, it was a fake out basically, Bitcoin dropped down all the way to 45 and yeah, 45,700 roughly. And I told you in the earlier video today that probably we can see Bitcoin climbing all the way up to 46.3K to retest that previous support here or to at least to retest that trend line from below. And that is exactly what it did. Then after the retest, it dropped down again in the current four hour candle all the way down to 45 and a half again. Yeah, or 45.7K again. So there's a lot of up and down here at the moment. And I'm thinking, you know, yes, Bitcoin broke out of that triangle, but is this really already the complete triangle or do we have to modify that trend line here? Because the way this looks now is a little bit like Bitcoin is still in a triangle. Yeah, because you can't draw it now like that. So, I mean, you've got a double top here. Absolutely. You've got your double top, but you're basically still being squeezed here into an apex. The reason I say that we actually haven't broken out yet is probably, and, and that sometimes happens with patterns. Yeah, you sometimes have to change the shape of them. Um, the reason I say we haven't really broken out yet, because while we have seen some movement, but really within the candle closing um, times, yeah, you can see where those candles closed, still sort of in the range and you can still draw a triangle here. Um, and also we haven't seen really increased volume. Yeah, a little bit here yesterday in that fake out. But typically when you see a breakout out of a triangle, you would see quite an explosive move. And we haven't really seen that yet. Um, you don't really see the additional volume. So in my opinion, Bitcoin is still sort of in this triangle, um, hovering above the 45.8K level. That was an important, um, so it's an important support here from the perspective of the primary scenario. As you might know, if you've been following me, I do expect primarily now Bitcoin to break above that 200 day moving average, which is currently at 48.3K and then to break out of that channel and actually to move at least to 51K and then move into this area here between 55 and 65K. That would be ideal for such a wave B uh, retracement before we are going to come down in another wave C into the target area here between 20 and 29K. Um, this is my primary expectation now that Bitcoin broke above 45.8K. But we also have to acknowledge that Bitcoin struggled to get above that um, 200 day moving average. And that is what isn't great. Yeah, but of course it still can do it. It, it. This would be the primary expectation that it manages to do that. Told you all along that as soon as we break above 45.8K, that is a structurally very important level that the probability to move up here increases to a degree that I would make this my primary scenario. And that is currently the case. Yeah, still see that as my primary scenario. And for now, Bitcoin managed to stay above that level. Now, if we break below that 45.8K level again, it would not be a disaster. I think we can go down all the way to 42.7 in the current scenario. And still, I would see this one that I just explained to you as my primary scenario. But if we drop below that, we have to assume again that we are going lower directly into this target area. So there might be a little bit of flipping between the primary and the secondary scenarios here in the next few days, depending on what Bitcoin does in this channel. It's just I have to stick here to the Elliott Wave rules and those important, structurally very important levels. Yeah. Um, and therefore, there might be a bit of flipping. But, you know, in, in the end, we are going to end in the same target area, in my opinion. Yeah. So um, that is still my view because we still have not managed to make a lower low. So Bitcoin, in my opinion, and that is what Bitcoin normally does. Bitcoin normally does, especially in a higher wave, higher level wave two, as this one is. Yes, we made our wave one. We have come down here in a wave two. 
it needs to make that lower low. So we had a wave A down here back in June, July, 28.7K. And then we moved up in a wave B, basically a fake out, a higher high. A wave B is very difficult to predict, very, very difficult. And now we are in this wave C down, in my opinion, and we should make that lower low. Still believe in it. Still think that is the most likely scenario. Theoretically, as I said before, we can already have completed the low, but the probabilities are just very low, yeah, in my opinion. So maybe we're talking here about a 10 to 20% probability, but it is not likely at all, in my opinion. Much more likely is that we are ending here in this target area, and there are a couple of ways to get into this area. First one is the primary scenario now, where we would go up first in a wave B and then come down. The alternative is that we come down straight away. But this is only the alternative and will become the primary one again below 42.7K. And that is really what I can tell you here at the moment. I think we are still, if I go back to the one hour chart, you can see it more clearly. I think we are still actually in a triangle shape, but um, if I make that a bit larger, you can see that at some point today, really, we should see the decision. What I cannot exclude here from uh, as an option is the fact that we might have to adjust the triangle again. That is unfortunately what sometimes happens, um, but I'm not very happy at the moment with this new triangle, to be honest. It doesn't really add up too much. It doesn't really look great because I only have here one touch point. Yeah, maybe we've got three touch points down here, which basically makes you a valid trend line. But yeah, I don't like the fact that sometimes you just have to change those shapes of the um, of those uh, patterns. It just, yeah, it's um, it makes it a bit subjective. But anyway, this is where we are currently with Bitcoin and the breakout point to the downside here at the moment would be 45.9K and to the upside 46.3K. And there you can see how much the price is already squeezed and that really the price gets less and less volatile, volume is decreasing. And um, yeah, we're just waiting for a breakout here at the moment. So that's my view about Bitcoin at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.